President Uhuru Kenyatta began his second day state visit to Germany by meeting the business community. It is here that the president reiterated his government commitment in ensuring there is conducive environment for business in Kenya. The business regulatory framework, new laws that we have passed, new company laws, new insolvency laws, all aimed at making it easier to do business in Kenya. We are reducing the number of licenses required and reducing the red tape and the bureaucracy that has previously been a hindrance. President Uhuru Kenyatta also stated that the country has embarked on numerous reforms such as the curriculum reform, equipping of vocational and tertiary institutions in the country so that they can be able to address the skills and the capacity gaps needed for business market. Our workforce, as has already been mentioned, is a skilled workforce, is a productive workforce, and ultimately, I believe, a very experienced workforce. We acknowledge that there are some areas where we are weak, and that's one of the areas that we ourselves are looking to further expand and enhance, especially more on the technical side, but I want to assure you Kenyans are very quick learners. One of the issues that we will be focusing on during our visit is to see how we can practically partner with the German government, with German companies to expand our own vocational and technical training in order to be able to enhance the skills and the capacity of our people. Mr. President, you have been constantly working on tackling terrorism in your country in the past security issues and overboarding bureaucracy impede business development. Furthermore, Kenya suffers from a high unemployment rate among young people, as Mr. Dreyer already mentioned. In order to create jobs, industrialization has to be improved. Transport and energy supply have to be expanded. Additional investments in infrastructure will be necessary. German business might be a partner on that path, the Republic of Germany has pledged 170.8 billion Kenyan shillings to finance key projects in the sectors of energy, security, agriculture, education and water. The two governments signed agreements during the bilateral talks between President Uhuru Kenyatta and his host, Germany Chancellor Angela Mikkel. On matters corruption, Uhuru admitted that the country has been faced with massive graft scandals, insisting that the country has adopted e-procurement as strategies to stem graft in public sector. We are tackling corruption, and this is something that we are not brushing under the carpet. We acknowledge that corruption has been a problem in Kenya, but we are tackling this thing head on with a view also of ensuring that we are better able to manage our economy and also make our economy less prone to bureaucratic red tape. This is why we are digitizing a lot of the services that we are offering. Uhuru is expected to tour the Industrial and Technology Park and the Parliament of Germany where President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to lobby for funding given that the country has been a beneficiary of several grants from the Republic of Germany.